about Billy Graham in the modern day? Now, let me just spend a couple minutes quickly talking about Billy Graham because, look, I'm not a fan of Billy Graham at all. Man. And I want you to realize if you are a fan of him, which maybe some people in here are, I want you to go on YouTube sometime and watch an interview with Larry King where, where Billy Graham says you do not have to believe in the name of Jesus to go to heaven. He very clearly says you do not have to believe in Jesus. God is calling people out of the Hindu world and the Muslim world. And he's like, people that have never heard the name of Jesus can be saved. He said you do not, he clearly says in there, you do not have to believe in Jesus. And I want you to realize, Billy Graham also did not believe in a literal hell. You can see quotes where he does not believe in a literal hell. And guess what? Billy Graham was very, very close friends with the Pope, Pope John Paul. Right. He was very, I mean, go, on, go on, on Google and look at the pictures. Man, he's so happy to take a picture with the Pope. It's like, look, I have no interest in taking a picture with the Pope, okay? Billy Graham was a Baptist preacher by name, but he always preached a work salvation. And when you listen to him back in the 19, you know, I don't know, 30s, 40s, whenever he started, he was preaching a work salvation at the very beginning, in the 40s or 50s, whenever he started. You can pull up old clips and you can hear him preach a work salvation. But this is what would take place at Billy Graham Crusades with thousands of people. They basically invite these big crowds and from all these denominations, this ecumenical thing, this interdenominational, tons of people come. One of the big people that played music for Billy Graham was Johnny Cash, okay? So he had these big name musical people playing music and what he would do is you'd come down to the front with the altar call, and it actually started, the first people that came down with altar calls, at these altar calls, were actually people that worked for Billy Graham. They were pretending to get saved here to try to make people emotional. And it, look, this is a fact, and if you've ever talked to someone who's been at a Billy Graham crusade, this is what took place, okay? And if you were a Catholic that walked down the aisle, this is what they would tell you, the workers in Billy Graham. It's like, all right, well, it's great to have you. What's your denomination? You're a Catholic? Here's a Catholic priest over here you can talk to. That is what took place, actually. And this is not my opinion. This is a fact. And if anybody looks this up, this is true. Billy Graham did not believe in a literal hell. It was this big ecumenical thing. If you're a Lutheran, here's the Lutheran. If you're a Presbyterian, here's the Presbyterian. If you're a Pentecostal, here's a guy speaking in tongues over here in the corner. <laughs> Just go follow him. That is what they did with Billy Graham. He always believed to work salvation. And he taught you do not have to believe in Jesus to go to heaven. You can check that out with Larry King. Okay, very, very clearly. Okay, and you can go on and on about Billy Graham. I don't want to for sake of time, but I want you to realize when somebody is loved by the world, they're probably a false prophet. And Billy Graham is loved by the world. And look, all the Baptist churches, they love Billy Graham around here. I encourage you, if that's you, check out what I'm saying. Go, go and see if he was good friends with the Pope. And you're going to find out, wow. He, I mean, he actually made a statement one time, and I'm not going to perfectly quote this, but I, he said something like he said Pope John Paul he thought was the greatest man of the 20th century. And look, I was on YouTube and I heard him at a Bill Clinton thing talking about Bill Clinton. And this is what Billy Graham told Bill Clinton. You know, I believe that if you had chosen a different career path, I think you could have become one of the great evangelists of our time. Bill Clinton? I watched that with my own eyes. Bill Clinton? It's like, are you, are you kidding me? It's like... Look at Matthew 9, okay? 